Good morning, children. How are you all? Hope you understood the lesson, the new blue dress. Okay. So now we'll go ahead with the next lesson, which is the town mouse and the country mouse. So the town mouse and the country mouse is also a very very interesting lesson. Okay. So which we will be uh, learning a lot of. Uh, uh, it's a fun filled story, and also uh, there is a very good message in this particular lesson. Okay. So shall we go ahead? Okay. Now the story is all about. What if a country mouse, if a town mouse goes to a country, what how it will feel? What if a country mouse go to goes to a town and how it will feel over there, isn't it? Even when we travel to the town, okay, if we are staying in the village and if we go to a town, so you see our uh, perception will be different the way we look at the town will be different some somebody if if you want to uh, be there only for one day or something you'll be you'll be very happy you will uh, like the area you'll go to different places but if it is around staying there for lot of uh, many days and all then you will not be uh, comfortable to stay there isn't it in the same way if you go to village also you will not be able to stay in a village for a long time because you don't have the comforts which you had in city in town so what if a country mouse or what if a town mouse has been to a country okay so how it really felt over there that is what we are going to see in this a uh, small story which is the town mouse and the country mouse i'll read the lesson you just check into your textbooks if you don't have textbooks we have a website called sert okay there you can uh, and also the link is given to you so you can directly download the textbooks and uh, you can watch them the town mouse and the country mouse were cousins they often wrote to each other one day the country mouse got this letter from his cousin so there were two mouse right two mice one is country mouse and second one is town mouse they they both were cousins the town mouse and the country mouse both were cousins so they were in contact with each other they used to write letters to each other they used to uh, write very regularly to each other so they they have a habit of writing letters but now we don't have a habit of writing letters we always uh, make a call if if there is any emergency or if you want to chat with somebody if you want to just uh, talk, ask about their welfare and all or if you want to congratulate somebody or if you want to wish somebody on their birthdays and all you just call but in those days uh, we don't have the facility of phones and also we used to write so many people used to write letters and all telegram they used to send telegrams in emergency but whereas here here also you can see that they are writing to each other so the town mouse has written a letter to country mouse so we'll see what it has written it wrote dear cousin i have been ill with cough and my doctor feels i need a holiday he had advised me to spend a week in the countryside may i stay with you please give me an early reply so the country the town mouse wrote to the country mouse saying that uh, now the town mouse is writing to country mouse what did it write it says that the the town mouse was very ill because it has cough so the dog it went to a doctor and doctor told the town mouse not to stay in the town for some time but to go to a country country in the sense here a village it's a village so it told the doctor told the town mouse to go to a village and stay there so and that is the reason why it is writing a letter to its cousin asking him permission to come there it is saying that it want to come to the village and stay there for a week in the countryside because the doctor has advised the town mouse to stay in the countryside for at least a week now it is asking a permission may i stay with you it is requesting the town mouse and asking it whether to stay with him for a week or not and also it says that please give me an early reply if you give me an early reply i will definitely come there and i'll stay with you for a week and now who received the letter that country mouse received the letter it was very happy to receive the letter immediately it wrote a letter saying that i'm really very happy to receive you please come we'll have a very good time we'll have a lot of fun so start immediately so the again the letter uh, was taken by 
town mouse received by town mouse it read the letter and then now it was very happy to go to country so it packed her its luggage and all and then it rushed to the next uh, station uh, to catch the next train so what the train goes to that country it uh, caught the train and unfortunately it was a bright and sunny day now it was summer season uh, last month even now it's hot but uh, whereas when you are in the summer season it it's really very uh, it's it's impossible for all of us to go out in the hot sun isn't it so we will not be comfortable isn't it so i uh, will uh, will uh, we have that comfort uh, as you have in uh, winter season no we will not have that comfort isn't it it will be very hot no like you have to wear a cap you have to wear the cotton clothes and you cannot go out in the hot sun like that so even if you want to go you have to take a lot of measures and also it was a bright and sunny day and uh, the town mouse was sitting in a train which was made up of iron it's not made up of some wool or something or uh, it's made up of iron so if as it is made up of iron it was really very very hot inside if you have traveled in the train in the summer season you would understand this one you will definitely understand this one so those who traveled in the train in the winter season it is very good in rainy season not a problem in the spring not a problem but in summer season it's really tough to travel in a train to very hot if there is extremely like no if it is uh, if the train is having lot of people it is having a rush and all no like then it is highly highly impossible for us to travel in the train so and now it was wishing that there was an air conditioned coach in the train unfortunately the train did not have an air conditioned coach if there was an air conditioned coach the town mouse would have traveled in the air conditioned coach but unfortunately it was going to a nearest place maybe the next village so the the trains which go like no it, it's a local train so it will not have any an air conditioned coaches so now it started become begin feeling very uncomfortable it was not comfortable at all in that particular place so what is the opposite of comfortable uncomfortable okay so however there was nothing he could do about it so he grumbled to himself while the train chugged slowly into the country the country mouse was waiting at the station so however he could not do anything rather than uh, enjoying the heat in the heat in the train or heat of the sun he could not do any thing else so he just waited for the train to come into the country and slowly the train came to the village so by the time he came out the country mouse was waiting there for the town mouse to receive her re receive his cousin oh the town mouse was uh, waiting at the station oh cousin the town mouse said as soon as he got off the train now the town mouse was highly irritated isn't it because it was sitting in a you know train which it doesn't have any air condition and second thing is it was very hot it was a bright and sunny day so it was very uncomfortable to sit there it was really very uncomfortable so when it came out of the train it was feeling like oh cousin yeah the train the country mouse was waiting at the station the train stopped at the station and uh, the con the town mouse came out of the train and as soon as it saw the saw its cousin the country mouse it, uh, it said that oh cousin the train was dreadful i terribly feel hot and thirsty it it came out of the train and no one said that it not ask hey cousin how are you fine i'm really happy to see you go and give a shake hand that is what we do basically but whereas it's now like highly irritated and very uncomfortable in the uh, rail, uh, in the train and all it said that i'm very very it's really horrible to travel in this train and really uh, it's uh, like you know i'm terribly thirsty i'm very very thirsty can i have some ice cold water or a lemon juice a cold lemon juice at home i i hope you have all this at, at your home then the town mouse answered well i have some water i have some water i don't have lemonade or ice cold or anything like that what i have in my house is water but i can look around for some coconut water if you like 
and see if you like if you don't want to have water i can look around for some coconut water that is what i can do otherwise i will i don't have any other thing at home the cook the town mouse was really horrified to listen what country mouse said it shouted coconut water don't you have any orange juice and lemonade at home what coconut water come on come on country mouse my cousin i don't know have this coconut water what i really love to have is a lemonade or some kind of orange juice don't you have them at your home if you have orange juice and lemonade i just want to have that i don't want to have your water and all i am afraid not replied the cousin but i found a very nice piece of root today a tender bit of sugar cane i am sure you will enjoy that and country mouse said that no 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 i'm very very sorry we don't have any such things in my house and moreover today morning you know like i was going uh, to the field I, i i got some nice root for you that is a piece of sugar cane it's very very sweet and i hope you will enjoy it you will like it when you it it's a very very tender tender in the sense a very delicate very very delicate piece of uh, sugar cane i have found i'm very sure that you will enjoy it root sugar cane the town was exclaim like in what root sugar cane come on i don't eat food like that i don't eat raw food like that i'm no i don't eat raw food like that the country mouse you know what it was very very humble it was very polite it did not it was saying that this is what we eat in our country so i'm afraid you too have to eat this try it it's not bad so it was not disappointed when she, when it heard the words of cow town mouse it said that this is what we eat in our country this is what we have in our village so if you eat it you will know the taste of that it try it it's not that bad so what happened next did it really did the town mouse eat the food or did it like the life in the village or not we'll definitely see tomorrow until then see you take care